Welcome to MediaTek Studios. We're here to speak with Guthrie Kennard about his new CD, Cross Your Heart, and it also features Marion Bradney. Thank you all for coming in today. Thank you for having us, Greg. Right. Glad to be here. What inspired you, Guthrie, to go a different direction on your new CD, Cross Your Heart? Well, I wanted to connect. I was born in Virginia, you know, I love mountain music as well. So I wanted to connect Virginia and Texas, a Texas roots music with kind of a Virginia mountain type of music. And, 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 and kind of a Gallian Welch in a Levon Helm way. And uh, I, I, just, I just love, I love those guys. And so I wanted to blend with that sort of type of music together. And I think we accomplished it on this yeah, sure new is. CD. Marion, when did you and Guthrie find each other? What, was it the Fairmount or was it McHenry? I think it was McHenry. It was McHenry. Years ago. Probably ten. five or six. Well, ten. Was it ten years? Long time. We've known each other on the scene for years. And then uh, I saw him in Austin. We were playing a, a for the veteran. We played this uh, big benefit. Thing. He was there in Austin. And the first time I heard her, I mean, you could tell she was an artist. I mean, she just her tone, especially on her instrument, was just awesome. You don't get that too often with uh, a lot of players. It's, you know, good hair and tone. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, it brings up an interesting question. Yeah. Uh, Marion, how do you feel as a violinist to be combining your talents with a bluesy, more of an older bluesy type of singer? Song? I'd always known Guthrie as a blues player, and I've been... I have never felt like I, I, I still to this day don't think I'm a blues player at all. And so when we got together, he was like, Marion, come play with me. And I was like, really? Okay, all right, let's do this. Because I was just coming off the road and I was like, all right, let's figure this out. And uh, we started to play and then we kind of mixed both of our stuff, like the pretty and then the Guthrie's kind of gruffly voice and the boom. And then, then I pulled my pretty stuff over the top, and it just made this really cool blend. Yeah. And we worked really hard on our t on our sound that we put out there. And I think we're exactly. both proud of our t sound that we put out. Should be. Definitely. Well, thank you. It's it's one of those deals where it's kind of a weird combination, but it works. That's mm -hmm. good. Guthrie, I'd, I'd like to find out what are the stories behind some of the songs on Crush Your Heart. Uh, particularly uh, the line, how many times does the rooster crow? Is that talking about you? Well, yes and no. It's a, it's a biblical reference. I had a friend that was uh, seeing somebody, and every year, like around Christmas time, I'm going to sit in the middle of the year, this guy would break up with her. And she'd up to his friend, and dear friend and she'd call me and go oh man so I felt so sorry for her so after the third time the cat did it to her and uh, just it just evolved into this particular song so it's I, I do a lot of thinking for these oh. yeah things do come I didn't through. know that's what that was about that's cool yeah that's cool well what gave you all the thought to bring in a full band for Deacon Dillon because it's it's a about, oh, remember the drought was last year, year before? And it's one of those songs that I think needed power behind it to really make the song work and just not go with the acoustic stuff. Uh, Marion Solo in there is just awesome, along with Julie Bonk's keyboard stuff. On this record, there are no guitar solos on it except for the last track, it's a resonator. And so it, it just it, it's just it's just a different record and it, it really brings the table. And that song is just you know, kind of a little bit out of the box and she accomplished it and I was just so proud of it. It seems like there's a pretty big jump between Monkey Bridge from Matchbox to the subject that's dealt at never heard an angel cry. Well there is. <laughs> Uh, Monkey Rance is, once again, about a friend of mine. I love writing about characters and real stuff. 
And never heard an angel cries about child abuse. It's a subject that sometimes I believe that sometimes it's a songwriter's job to be the voice of those that aren't heard and bring it to the forefront. And with Marion, her, uh, the way her instrument, she's just a beautiful player. And when we discussed this when we recorded, it's just Marion and myself. And I wanted Marion to be the voice of those, you know, whether it be young or old or whatever. It just, her work is the voice of those that have been used in this song. And I mean, you can ask her, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a chilling song. I mean, her. I mean, it was, it was one of those things, like, we went in the studio and it was just Guthrie and I and the engineer, and we did it live. He was in the main room and I was in the side room, and I, I, I think we did it in one take. Yeah, one, yeah, it was one take, and then on the solo, I went ahead and just laid just a little bit, a little second violin part over that solo, and that was it, and we were done. We were done in like half an hour. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And, and, and it is a serious song. And it's a very somber day in the studio, quiet. When we play that live, which is very seldom, but it definitely has an effect. You can see it, and you know, it gets quiet in the house. Mm -hmm. It gets really quiet, and you see tears. I mean, it's coming down from people's eyes. And, and to me, that says I've done my job as a songwriter. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. It's very just, I mean, she just, like I said, she's the voice mm -hmm. of the. Oh, uh, it makes that song. Oh, it does. No it just, it, Great so, job. And that's. Like you asked earlier with Marion, first time I heard her, I, I hear I hear all this, her, her playing, and, and she's an artist on her instrument. She's just not, you know, honky tonk fiddle oh, player. No. She's classically trained, and just she's an artist. And I wanted really to incorporate that in our whole album. And we became friends. And the past couple of years, we've been playing together, and we do a lot of duo stuff together. And it's the chemistry between us is. It's well received and it, it, it works. It definitely does. It well, definitely thank you. Does. Don't you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I think it's, it's the, like no. the real gruffly voice, and no. then and, and, when I sing, I have a really light little voice, and then the really smooth violin over this. The, it just matches, and it's really cool. Oh, it's, it's a thing. beautiful match. Actually. It is, and then even on the bluesier stuff, I go, Mary, you know, she gets out of her box. Like Jimmy Hendrix and the Wild Wild or something. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, is the the poet? Uh, is that song about a particular person? It is. It's, it, there's an old cat down there in Deep Elm. They called him the Deep Elm Poet. And we used to play out in front of this restaurant every Sunday with a couple of guys with the band thing. And this old cat would, you know, stroll up and. Uh, come up to you and he would introduce himself I'm the deep down poet and what he would do he had these little pieces of paper that he had written stuff down on little poems and stuff some of them made sense some of them didn't but instead of just asking you for money he would come up to you and ask you if you'd like to if you'd like to buy a poem and you know I just kind of like I'd always buy one from him or two. Maybe there was something good in there that, you know, he would <laughs> I could use. <laughs> and the uh, inspiration could come. Yeah, and, and so and, and I love writing about characters once again. So the other characters in that particular song uh, are just cast that I met out in the street, you know, all those guys have nicknames and stuff. And in the beauty of that song, Jilly Pong's on piano. And then Marion comes in and it's just, it's, to me, it's a piece of, uh, that is, that's probably one of my favorite tracks on the whole album because of the, the work by the by musicians on there. They all played for the song. Mm -hmm. And they were the right musicians for the right song. You can tell you achieved that on the whole CD. Absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I noticed that on the final track, right. Trouble, seems you went back to a more of a matchbox group. I did, I did. I mean, I'm a blues man at heart. Yeah. And so, uh, 
uh, going backwards a little bit, we would uh, fly down there in Louisiana and East Texas and stuff, and we'd start, you, you know this, you know, back when, we'd start at like five o'clock in the afternoon and end up playing until five o'clock in the morning. And that's uh, one of those, that's a long day. Not just one day, but a day after day. And uh, anyhow, so some of those places where you do have to go and play are kind of like the Devil's Den. So it's one of those deals where you just, I mean, you've got the blues. Right. And I, I just wanted that little, kind of little, like, that Louisiana feel to it with some really, you know, lyrics that meant something. Would you agree that this uh, CD is more of a songwriter? No, CD? absolutely. It's a hit machine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some great stuff on there. I mean, it's just, it just depends on who knows where music is going this year. I mean, one of them might really kind of break out, but it's, it really is just, it just says so many beautiful things. I love this album. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. We've been talking about Cross Your Heart. Guthrie Kennard's new CD featuring Marion Bragney. Thank you very much for being here at Media Tech Studios. Thank you for having us. For having us. Trouble. 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 Trouble.